What's up, fuckers? It's a Monday. I'm gonna go check out the diabetes dumpster. Ah, and it's my anniversary. Let's see what we got. They even left me a shopping basket. Look at that. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Flonase. I see another Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Left me a shopping basket. That's fucking hilarious. Ah, box of shit. I see some more Flonase. Stuff comes in handy in the spring. Doesn't really matter to me if it's expired or not. But... This dumpster has been more boxes than anything for a long time. And they got a cardboard dumpster right over there. Yet they throw all their cardboard in this box. No. Nah, empty water bottles. Somebody told me the other day I don't dig deep enough. I know my fucking trash can. Oh, look, I see a Honey Nut Cheerio. I gotta get up on the side and get down to that shit. Left me a shopping basket. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, empty con air. No, this is all cardboard. Now, somebody the other day gave me shit. Because I don't dig deep enough in the trash can. Let's put this back here with the... Oh, yeah, next to the Roundup. Because I don't dig deep enough. When you dig in the trash can enough... You know exactly what that trash can has to offer, and when that that trash can is nothing but shit. I got some cereal out of that one, fuckers. That's fucking exciting. I was just talking to the camera for about, oh, three minutes, and it didn't record. So now I'm filming this out of order. Just hit the diabetes dumpster. Uh, I got some cold cereal out of there, some Flonase. They were kind enough to put it in a shopping basket. <laughs> That's pretty entertaining, actually, if you ask me. Uh, I had to go to five, five, five different gas stations this morning to uh, find my cigarettes. You'd think I was looking for an alternator for a Maserati. Um, the cunt of a woman who runs the gas station by the house uh, and I use that word sparingly. I don't I don't like to even use the word cunt, but when I use the word cunt, know that it has meaning. The cunt of a woman who runs the gas station by the house has uh, ran everybody, including her employees, away. So the gas station isn't even open today. She's got two people to run that gas station seven days a week uh, from like six in the morning till 12 o'clock at night. Good fucking luck with that. And... Uh, the one girl's got gastritis, and she's absolutely fucking miserable. I made her some rice and took it to her the other day because she was having a rough go of it. But uh, she couldn't make it to work this morning. The other girl's going to show up and work from fucking noon to midnight. So, I mean, she's working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. The, the woman who runs the gas station isn't doing it any justice. Anyway, this is all out of order. I don't know if it's ever even going to make it to YouTube, but we'll figure it out. i got a basket of shit in the back. I gotta get that basket of shit real quick and put it inside of the truck because it's it's gonna rain today. Which uh, I'm not even trying to take the 45 minute drive to the beach. 40 minute drive, however long it takes me to get to the beach. Hold on. They put it in a basket for me. Um, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Uh, well, that one's got a hole in it. Damn it. Uh, uh, the other two Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the Cheerios, they're alright. This one's got a hole in it, so that one gets to go in the trash, because I'm not even trying to get involved in that. But, no, ain't trying to make the 40-minute drive to the beach today, because uh, in about 20 minutes, it's going to start pouring rain. i got to make sure I roll my window up before I go into the grocery store. But uh, today is... Today is the wife and I's anniversary. And I know I mentioned it in the uh, Facebook group for uh, anniversary weekend, but today is our actual anniversary. We got married on 11, 12, 13. We've been married for five years. That's the longest I've committed to uh, anything. Five years. 
well, I've lived in my house for eight, so I take that back. But anyway, I'm a lucky man. I feel fortunate to have her, love her to death. I wish she could have taken the day off from work today so we could have just went and rolled around in the sheets all day. But watermelon propel. And a bunch of fucking people who can't drive or park or what have you. This woman walking by me looks absolutely fucking miserable. You'll see I haven't shaven. It is No Shave November. I am uh, participating in No Shave November for personal reasons that I shall not get into here. Because I feel like you fuckers already know too much about me. Which is kind of why I've uh, backed off on the uh, making videos front for a while. Um, I spoke with the wife and uh, official news announcement. We're going to start dumpster diving uh, again within the next week. Uh, I've been looking at the diabetes dumpster on my own for a while now. <coughs> um, you know, when her and I go to the store, are we going around the backside? No, well, fuck yeah, we're going around the backside. But uh, <coughs> we are officially channel announcement. We're going to start dumpster diving again. Um, we just got to wait for the weather. The weather. Blah, 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 the weather. We got to wait for the weather to cooperate. Because today's Monday, and I want to see the next five days. You should, if you own the Weather Channel, this video is going up today on Monday. If you own the Weather Channel, look it up. Look at Charleston, South Carolina. We're on a little island off the coast, like directly across the harbor, so we get the same fucking weather. Uh, we're about to get like five or six inches of rain this week, and that doesn't bode uh, too well for dumpster diving. So, <clears throat> that being said, uh, at some point, Call it a week, maybe two weeks. Uh, I'm going to see about jumping my ass back inside of that uh, dookie dumpster and see if I can't find some more shit for my fingers. Perhaps some Starbucks coffee because that can, I've, I haven't been in that can in like five months. And I still have Starbucks coffee in my pantry from that can. Like, <sighs> my eyes are swollen. <clears throat> No, we still have uh, Starbucks coffee that came out of that trash can six, eight months ago. And you wonder why my eyes are swollen. I'm not high. I don't do that. The missus and I went uh, camping. <coughs> camping. Jesus Christ. I need to enunciate. I've been around the south too long. We don't go camping. Mm. Um, we went camping Saturday night, and I stood by a campfire for eight or ten hours, and my eyes are still not not right from it. It was supposed to be a great time. Perhaps that's another story for another day because it was really fucking cold. I ended up sleeping right here where I'm sitting at the moment. Sleeping in my truck because it was supposed to be like 45 degrees and it ended up being like 33. Um, it was really cold. I don't think the missus and I are going to go camping anytime soon. That was a really black cloud blowing in. Perhaps I get this shopping over sooner than later and I catch you guys back here in a minute I'm gonna end this for now and go get some shit the wife wants nachos for our anniversary dinner so who might have fucking complain about nachos I gotta go get some avocados and jalapenos and a couple bags of cheese but I need to get it done before it starts raining I'll be back in a minute I'm back even though it didn't seem like I went anywhere I did <laughs> I just saw somebody wearing fucking yoga pants with high heel boots. The woman in line ahead of me at the grocery store, of course, had on her uh, red and black hipster flannel. That I've got red and black flannels from. I've got red and black flannels from the fucking '90s when, back when that was grunge music. I won't soon be wearing any of my uh, red and black flannels. Because of people like the woman who was in line in front of me, who's going to uh, demand that the lady put her groceries in paper bags and then play on her phone the whole time, not pay any attention, not interact, 
wearing a stupid fucking hipster beanie like here on her head. Yeah, I don't wear my flannels anymore for that exact fucking reason. Anyway, I don't know. People just fucking irritate the shit out of me anymore. This area in specific is everybody's become so fucking rude. Nobody friendly anymore. Nobody engages. You know, like there's one girl that works at this grocery store during the day, during the week that I make a point to get in her line, and then there's this cranky old bitch that tries to get me to go through self checkout. She's running five registers there and one, so she's running six registers all said and done. Okay, there's five jobs. Uh, you know, she's doing essentially the job of, of six cash registers. There's five people that could probably use a fucking job, but this grocery store doesn't employ five people because they can make one woman do six registers. Anyway, what I'm getting at is the people in this area, god damn, this light sucks when two cars get through. All right. Uh, it becomes so fucking unfriendly, so disconnected. You go to the grocery store and people are just, they're fucking rude. Human beings work at the grocery store. For fuck's sake, my mother works at the fucking grocery store. So every time I go to the grocery store and I see somebody who's being fucking rude, they don't put their phone down or they wait to get to the cash register to make a fucking phone call. Like, and it's the same with the, with the people at the gas station, you know? Like, they're fucking humans. Don't treat them like fucking assholes. And that's what the people in this neighborhood do. Anybody who's not in their little fucking little circle of fucking jackass pieces of shit, they treat them like shit. And it's like, for what? Why do you have to treat people like shit? Why do you gotta be rude? Why do you gotta be a fucking asshole? Put your goddamn phone down long enough to have a conversation with the per person working behind the cash register and treat them like they're a fucking human and they're not your little fucking slave. You know, <clears throat> the Charleston area is, is really, really bad for that. And that's probably why I have great. Let's block the intersection so that not even these two cars can get through. Go. The driving here is directly reflective of the people here. And I get distracted when I have a thought and then I can't. I don't know. Friends. That's why I have a wife. Okay? Love my wife to death. She's about the only person in this area that I could ever handle spending any length of time with. Then I got two friends. I got Bubbles and Ricky. It's like, you know, I got a, I got a special needs guy and I got a homeless bum that are my friends. And it's like, that's it. Like, this area is fucking terrible for people just treating people badly and I don't know what's going on with the traffic over here but we're almost a mile down the road from the grocery store and it's backed up hence the fact I got an early start today and I'm going home and I'm not leaving the fucking house because if traffic is already this bad once it starts raining it's going to get even worse that is the gayest looking jeep I've ever seen in my life my god traffic's backed up all the way through this light down As far as I can see, that is a sick-ass Audi station wagon. I don't know if it... Man. And there's a Kia driver. You drive a Kia. No disrespect, Ma, because you drive a Kia. But the majority of Kia drivers, you look at them and it's... You know they ate paste when they were a kid. Why else would you buy a Kia? Anyway, getting ready to pull up to the house here in just a minute. So I'm going to end this video uh, here. And I'm going to keep talking even though I'm saying I'm going to end this video here. I'm, I'm working on ending this video. Oh, God damn it. With these guys working on the fucking road, or the gas line, fogging up my road. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell. If you haven't been getting my notifications lately, it's because you haven't got the uh, little bell hit and uh look for it real soon uh we'll be back we're gonna i don't i'm not gonna say we're gonna be dumpster diving full time but we're gonna be back in the trash cans soon and if you hit the little bell uh every time i go live you will see me which i go live in the kitchen pretty consistently and every time i upload a video <coughs> it'll give you the little notification if you don't hit that bell you're gonna miss it 
but yeah like share subscribe hit the bell and in the meantime go fuck yourself yeah fuckers